Well, here we go again. Back in the bush. Looking for more squatches and elk. Wish us luck. I'll tell you right now. What a nightmare. Here I am somewhere. But this is so brushy. I'm not kidding you. Like, that tree right there is like two yards away. And you can't see maybe 10 yards max in here. They went through this junk like it was nothing, and now there's no noise. I don't think they came out the other side. They're still in here. Holy crap. I have no idea. I didn't see wings on them. I begin to wonder if they don't have some. Because I sure as heck don't see where they went in here. And they were smoking. All right, let's see if we can't catch up with them a bit. Okay, this is where we're at. I'm gonna try to get through this junk. They went through here. Oh. So much for hanging out in a tree stand, enjoying the sunset. I can talk about thick. I have no idea how they went through this crap. They went through it like nothing. <sighs> kind of out the other side. Less brush. Talk about a zoo. Well, we made it home. Sitting in a lazy boy. Perfect for a lazy boy. Not lazy. Tired. Anyway, I got out of the brush there, back up to the truck, and that was about the end of it. Got dark on us. There's no way to hunt that. I mean, just absolutely no way. You'd have to go in there and cut trails or, I don't know. It's, there's bogs in there four feet deep in mud, so. We're gonna try another place tomorrow. That'll be a good place once the snow starts flying, so. Night. <laughs>